thought that nobody was watching. Here they are thinking that nobody is going to notice. They're undertaking illegal activity. It was jaw dropping. Adani have gone rogue and started secret illegal drilling at their Carmichael coal mine. And the consequences could be dire. An explosive news story has revealed that Adani have started work without permission by drilling into the Great Artesian water table. In the process, they are trashing environmental protection laws, threatening Queensland's groundwater at a time when over half the state is in drought, and showing blatant disregard for the rights of traditional owners who oppose the construction of this mine on their ancestral lands. Adani don't have all their approvals yet, but they're acting as if they're above the law. In 2016, the Queensland government granted Adani an environmental authority. It said that Adani could not begin work until they could prove that their mine wouldn't threaten priceless water resources like the million-year-old Dungmabala Springs. But guess who was in charge of making sure Adani followed the rules? Adani was. The Queensland government largely leaves it up to mining companies to self-report their environmental impact, and up until now, they've been taking Adani at their word. As recently as April this year, Adani filed paperwork saying that work had not begun and noting no environmental disturbances to the Galilee Basin. But members of the community have stepped up in a huge way. I undertook research to really understand, unpack what exactly that Adani are looking to do, what they have approval for and what they are yet to have approval for. We then had to go in with a remote piloted aircraft, fly over, just to ground truth to make sure with high quality vision exactly what was going on. We couldn't believe it. There's the drill rigs, there's the driller sumps, they're drilling away. They're putting at risk the one million year old springs. These springs are a national treasure. These springs have endemic species, vegetation, and other animals that rely on that water in the driest, harshest climate. Adani knew the risk and they've gone ahead anyway. And Adani provided false and misleading documentation to the Queensland government. In short, Adani lied. They lodged an annual return. The annual return states zero disturbance of land. In a table you can clearly see we know to be wrong because they have started stage two project work. They've breached their conditions of their environmental authority and therefore breached the Environmental Protection Act. It's an offence, quite simply, it's breaking the law. That's right. Adani are so desperate to build their monstrous coal mine that they've broken the law and just started doing it and then lied about it to the government but we have a chance to hold them accountable. The Queensland Government can and should prosecute them, but we really don't know the impact the Adani mine will have on Queensland's water. Ultimately, it's the Government who has the prime job of taking evidence of unlawful activities and stopping unlawful mining. The Queensland Government must prosecute Adani for these crimes immediately. But this isn't going to happen by itself. Add your voice to the call to make sure the Queensland Government do the right thing and prosecute Adani for these crimes. <laughs>